<laughs> Hi. Just taking care of a little bit of business. That Reverend Al Sharpton is something else, isn't he? I can't believe he died it down to 138 pounds. I mean, I can believe it because we saw it, but wow. More importantly, I can't believe he copped to his, his lady love. Listen, do you have a special lady in your life? Yes, but we are not. I told you you was going to come with some mess. Hey, look, <laughs> listen, listen. I look at the internet. I saw a picture of you and a lovely young lady named Asia, and I see that she's in the audience sitting next uh, to your no, daughter. Her name is Asia. Asia, so sorry, Asia. Hi, hon. How are you? She's beautiful. The, the streets have been talking, and and I saw the picture. That's it. And hi, Reverend Al's daughters. <laughs> it's nice. She gets along with the girls. I told. I told the girls in her, this was not 60 Minutes. You know Wendy will go there. <laughs> Ain't no shame in my game. We come yes! out. Yes! I figured he'd be so in denial. And I wasn't going to press it, you know. <sighs> he had her in the audience. She's part of the family. He was, his girls were sitting there, too. And then after, you know, I said goodbye to Reverend Al, and, and he went off back to, you know, Reverend Al's world, his girl and his daughters stayed at the show. They stayed all the way till the end. And then I guess they probably went out to lunch or to H&M. The usual stuff that people do after they leave the Wendy show. <laughs> people love going to H&M and people love going out for lunch. It's perfect. Perfect. And it's great because, you know, the show's over, our show's over at 11 o'clock here in New York at 11 o'clock. So, ugh, it's perfect. You go out for lunch, you get a little something to eat. I prefer to shop before lunch. Food always makes me so tired. Why does every day when we get together, it always comes back to food? Food brings us together though, right? Anyway, um, guess who's back? My girl, Charlie Baltimore. Charlie's got um, a new mixtape, a new mix, um, look at Charlie. Chuck, deuces, I like her. I always thought I would outgrow my love for the streets and street activity. Just like I always thought I would outgrow my love for a guy who's rough around the edges. Remember we were talking during Hot Topics and I was telling you, giving you some quotes from Taylor Swift? Yeah, it's true. Most girls do love a bad boy. Most of us think that it's a phase that we're going through and we wait for it to be over. We pray for it to be over because we stereotype and say that that's not what's going to make a decent husband or a decent father or whatever. Sometimes you just have to go with your gut. What the Ronald McDonald is this? Okay, so let me tell you what wig is done with this wig. All right, first of all, this is, this is one of my wigs. But I tell you, we always dye wigs. Very rarely. Take a wig out of a box and just put it on. Are you kidding me? So this started out to be... You know who this is? This is the, the almost black wig that you love. So, so dark brown that it looks black that you love. And I was feeling like it was too harsh and severe. And too dark, like he needed to you know, just lighten it up a little bit. Just put, put a couple of highlights in it. Well, Wig went home and put on Earth, Wind and Fire or Diana Ross. He loves Diana Ross. He doesn't care about TV. Wig likes to listen to his music and, and, and get to Crafton. He came back the next day. Literally, this was yesterday. This wig was so blonde that I said, Wig, even I can't wear it. I mean, it was too, it was dark, but the ombre was so severe. I was like, I don't think I can wear it. He said, all right, you know what? I'm gonna take it home and do something with it. So this is what he did. 
Now, I know some of you all do love your hair in a more clowny color configuration. I'm not calling you a clown, but I'm saying, you know, there's red hair, like Juliana Moore red hair, which is subtle. And then there's red hair, like what Rihanna and some of the young girls do. Their red is like the color of this flower. I don't know what you call this color. I don't even have proper lighting to assess. It's like orange. Humor me. I'll be right back. I'm not this girl. It's too edgy or something. It's the wrong color for my skin. Do I see pink highlights in it? Oh my gosh. A oh, wig. You ruined a perfectly good wig. <laughs> Watch what he does to it, though. Antoine really is... Um, very, very talented with what, he, with what he does. And you see this wig like this today with pink highlights looking crazy. By the time you see me walk out on the Wendy stage and you're not even gonna recognize it. Antoine knows what he's doing. Woo! <laughs> <laughs> Just hair. Are you dressing up for Halloween? I can't wait to show you my Halloween costume. We're not opening the door for Halloween as usual. I don't even like Halloween. I just think, think it's too scary. It's too scary. The world has just become a totally different place. You can't send your kids trick-or-treating anymore. I'm so glad that my kid is too old to even care about trick-or-treating. Um, can't send your kids trick-or-treating. You can't have a big Halloween party because you never know who's going to try to smuggle in weapons, you know, under their costume. But we're celebrating here at Wendy. But we're not celebrating at home. Besides, I eat candy all the time. I don't need a holiday to eat candy, okay? So, my seventh book. Don't forget that um, I need you to vote on the winning title. And there are two titles in the top five titles that I'm really partial to. But I'm going with what you guys say because ultimately out of the thousands of titles that were submitted, um, the five that we chose are five that I really like. They really are um, titles reflective of the book. Wig, is that you? Yes. I need to speak with you right now. Oh, no. What did I do? Wig, I just tried this on. And what happened? A mess. What, what happened, Wendy? <laughs> Listen to the hair department over there. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. It's, um... Well, we already agreed it was a mess. It's, like, it's, it's still in, it's, we're still working on it. I tried to tell them what color you had it yesterday when you came in. It was like as, it was like as white as the trim. Yeah, it was like the... the it was it was really, it was Pam really blonde. Anderson blonde. Yes, after been in the sun for like a year. Right. Yeah. Put it on. Let me see. I didn't see it. Mm -mm. Didn't want to watch the after show. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. You know, we gotta tone it down. You know. You know what it it's is. Just also, hair. This this color doesn't look good against my skin. No, it doesn't. Yeah. I mean, I agree. I mean, what what we gonna do? I don't know, but I don't want to keep you working all the time on You're the You're not same. keeping me where I'm doing it. Uh, yeah, but, <laughs> I, but in my mind, I keep asking you, when are we going to be able to wear it? Oh, well, we have worn it twice, so, you know, they don't know it's the same wig. You know. Yes, well, they do, because I told them it was the one, it was the the one that they liked that was really, yeah. really dark. And we decided that it was too dark and severe for me. So all I asked for you to do was put a couple of highlights down here, and he came back with <laughs> Tara Reid and Kim Kardashian all in the same with a, wig. With a little menage in it. <laughs> <laughs> they turned down what? That's how blonde it was. That was Nicki Minaj. That was, Whoa. it was, ooh. That was blonde, blonde. Well, let me ask you this. I'm just having fun with it. But I'm sure people are wondering, what do you use to take the blonde away and all of a sudden make it fire red? I just put a, a just a semi permanent on it, like it was um, French cognac. And she was drunk, and she. <laughs> <laughs> and yes. the thing about it, I colored it right. And then when I was at the gym, I was sitting at my um, I was sitting at the little machine. I, and I was just thinking about the wig. I was like you that time. I was like, I can't wait to get home. I think I'm gonna do something else differently too. Right. 
And so I get home and I light the front. And what had happened was <laughs> <laughs> all the million colors I put on, uh -huh. I forgot about the base colors. And as soon as I lighten the front a little bit, it turned pink. I was going to say, is that where the pink comes yeah, from? Yeah, that's where the pink comes from. <laughs> So while sitting on, I walk to the corner store, to the corner beauty supply store, and get a different kind of bleach, thinking it's really gonna take it to like yellow. Yes. And when you came back, it's, it was just still sitting there pink. So I, I put that on. And then what happened? It stayed pink. <laughs> it, so, it wouldn't unpink. So how did we get to this beautiful orange? <laughs> no, the beautiful orange we had, but I just wanted to put a little highlights. I should have left it alone and just put some blonde tracks in. Your, but your beauty supply store is at the corner? The one that's convenient, not the one I would go to. Oh, okay. Yes. Yeah, so it's like, oh, crap, it's almost 8 o'clock. Let me run and get to the city. Yeah. Uh -huh. And I put it on, and she's Halloweeny. And she. <laughs> she is Halloweeny? <laughs> you know. Well, we'll get it together. It's just hair. It's fun. I ain't going to send you out there looking like Bozo. It is Bozo, we ain't it? It is Bozo, we ain't it? <laughs> <laughs> But somewhere, somebody would wear this, just because it's a really good wig. When are you going to make me my Jennifer Aniston? That's coming. Come here, you want to see I think it? we're going to revamp my, my next project once I... My next project is going to be the controversy. I want this wig, which is probably but the wig... you basically that... have that wig. Yeah, but no... And, and, and it's basically that wig, too. Mm-mm, but this... is not as long. Mm -mm. I need a center part wig. This wig we've worn on the side side so much that so it's, nothing it's, ain't nothing. No, you ain't gonna do that. <laughs> I'm gonna show you. Go him. ahead and say it. Go ahead. Well, I'm just saying it's balding. It it's balded right down to the side part. So now I can't part it in the middle because now I have a bald spot Shit. over here. No, it's not. This is like the wig I came in with today. It's pretty, and like I said, it's almost close to um this wig from your hairline. Wendy's hair well. That was cute, right? <laughs> Thanks for the commercial. Um, why is this in here as an inspiration? Well, I like Eva we... Langoria. I don't like one-sided hair. There's just something about it. I just, I just. I, I... But you're that girl to me, though. You give me that girl, like, cause we have things coming up. So I need inspiration. Oh yeah. Yeah. See, yeah. Wait a minute. I am this girl. You, you very that girl. With a little bit more lift on the side and a few more waves. Mmm. More S formation, like, yeah. like a Langoria has. Yeah, exactly. Well, let's, no, put this on the let's put this on the no, inspiration board. No, what I'm going to do, I'm going to... You can put that up there, but I wanted it in color. Oh, okay. All right, well, you get it in color. I'll put it up there. Let me put this on top of it. This is the inspiration board. Mm -hmm. Every time I put something up here, he takes it down. So I finally said, well, what is it that you want? Well, you know, inspiration is, you know, personal and subjective. Her inspiration is not my inspiration sometimes. This is my inspiration. This tease and pop. That's you, though. Remember, this, remember no. this party? I almost fell up the steps. It was at Anderson Cooper's house. Oh, those were good times. They were good, good times. times. I was so glad everybody was cool and nobody talked. No, everybody was really <laughs> cool. And Liam Neeson was there. Oh, I'll never forget so how he hot. smelled and how tall he was. Oh, he's so hot. Yes. I just want him to rescue me, <laughs> like he did in Schindler's List. <laughs> well, thanks for everything. Sorry for being so weird yesterday, you know, but I've been laughing and crying at the same time for a long time. Hi, Dean! And Dean's Hi, suspenders? Yeah, and headphones. Yes, I see. <laughs> very, very official looking. Mm -hmm. <laughs> um... I did go home and I had um, spinach and I stopped at the grocery store and I got me a nice slab of liver. Do you like liver? Oh my God, I love liver. I love chicken liver, liver worse, calves liver, whatever. But I'm talking about, I made it liver, like liver and onions, the way we ate it when we were kids, you know, liver and onions. Put it on the grill, I love it. My husband and son don't like liver so I had the whole steak for me. I'm gonna get my iron. I'm gonna get back to stop feeling dizzy and weird. And I didn't um, get my blood work, but I still intend on doing that uh, probably in the next 48 hours, just to make sure everything is good. But I feel wonderful today. 
And on that note, I'm going back in here. I have to be back out on the floor to work on a project uh, in about 10 minutes. And then I have a little meeting after that. And then I'm going back to Jersey. Don't you hate when people do that? I know. Come out again, <laughs> I love you for watching. <laughs> I'll see you next time.